Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I post new videos every week. So today I have three recipes for you that I have just been making and loving so much lately. Now that we are well into June, almost into July, I have just been like kind of craving different types of foods and different recipes and just experimenting with like all the new summer flavors and stuff. So I'm so excited to share these recipes with you. I know you're gonna love them. And as usual, all of the recipes are linked in the description box below. It takes you right to my blog where you can get all the ingredients and directions and all of that good stuff. Before I get started today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Complement. So Complement is a science-backed multi-nutrient made to support plant-based lifestyles of all different types. So whether you're like an athlete or a busy parent or you know someone who's just discovering plant-based eating or if you've been plant-based or vegan for a long time and you're looking for something to complement your plant-based diet, then that is why they created this and named it Complement. And the actual like owners and creators of Complement are plant-based. So basically you just take three a day. You can take either all of them all at once or you can spread it out throughout the day. And so I want to show you because this just came in the mail. So this packaging is compostable and then it also comes with a glass jar. If you guys ever ate Junior Mints, honestly smells exactly like that when you first open it. And it also says right on the front the eight essential minerals, omegas, and vitamins. So um, B12, K2, D3, zinc, DHA slash EPA, magnesium, iodine, and selenium. So you can just you know buy one package to try or you can subscribe. I definitely think if you want to be taking this and you don't want to have to you know think about it, always have to reorder it, subscribing is just such an easy way to kind of like get it done so if you guys want to try it out i will put the link below so i really hope you enjoy these recipes and i hope you try them out if you do make sure to take a photo and tag me on instagram or you can leave a comment on the blog or here i just love knowing what you guys think about the recipes okay we are starting off with this vegan stacked blueberry cheesecake french toast so we're going to start off by making the vegan french toast batter obviously vegans don't use eggs so we are going to be using tofu as a substitute and so you want to add your tofu, non-dry milk, sugar, and cinnamon to a blender and then just blend it until it's smooth and add it to a shallow bowl. Then you need four slices of bread. So you want to layer them up. I did jam cheesecake sauce and then jam just because I super love blueberries. So this is a cashew cheesecake sauce that you can make super easily with just a few ingredients. Obviously the recipe is linked below, but then you just want to stack them all up layer it however you like, do as many stacks as you like, and then I cut off the crusts just to make it all a perfect square. And then you just wanna dip it in your batter and then fry it as you would normal French toast. It is a little bit harder, it is a little, you know, slippery, so I actually used two spatulas and when it was standing on its side, I just used both spatulas to kinda like hold it into place so that it got nice and golden brown on all sides. And then you're ready to serve. So I served it with some vegan butter, maple syrup, and a little bit of powdered sugar. And obviously when wild fresh blueberries are in season, I will be serving this with fresh blueberries as well. So incredible. This is definitely one of my favorite things I've ever made. And I just love how versatile it is because you can either make it super big and stacked to share with someone, or you can just do like one or two layers for yourself. And it's just so good. I know you're going to love it. Next, we're making donut strawberry shortcake. So first, you just want to slice up your strawberries. I was lucky we had just super gorgeous, juicy, amazing strawberries, even though it's not exactly strawberry season yet, we are so close. And you just wanna add a tiny bit of sugar to draw out the juices and then set that aside to sit. And then we're gonna make vanilla olive oil donuts. So you just need to combine your flour, your baking powder and your sugar and a little bit of salt and whisk that together. And then you can add your non-dairy milk, your olive oil and your flax egg, which is just ground flax and water. And of course add some vanilla extract and then mix that all together until it's nice and smooth. Try not to over mix it. A few small lumps like this are totally fine. And then you just want to grease your donut pan and divide it up in between the six donuts. And and they'll be like three quarters ish full and then you want to bake it until they are golden brown and done and so then once the strawberries are nice and juicy you can just mash them up a little bit this is how we always do strawberry shortcake and then just for a little added touch i dipped the donuts in cinnamon sugar 
And then when you're ready to serve, you can layer it up with some, this is vegan canned whipped cream, um, but coconut whip, your strawberries, and then a fresh strawberry on top. It's so, so good. It's such a nice little change from regular strawberry shortcake and so fun. I'm gonna be making this all summer long. Last but not least, we are making my favorite lemon pound cake. I have made this so many times now. It's really easy and it comes out absolutely amazing. So you're gonna combine your dry ingredients as usual, and then you're going to squeeze your lemons and add the non-dairy milk, and together this makes kind of like a buttermilk. And then you're gonna whip together your softened vegan butter and sugar. Actually, this was room temperature vegan butter and whipping it together gives it air pockets, which keeps this cake really, really nice and fluffy. And that lemon buttermilk mixture, add in the dry ingredients and the lemon zest and mix that until it's combined. Then just put that in your loaf pan. This is not a five by nine. It's a little bit skinnier than that. So it made my cake really nice and tall so if you have a slightly skinnier pan than like an average loaf pan that would be perfect and then you just want to take it out let it cool and then for the frosting it was literally just powdered sugar vanilla and non-dairy milk but this formula never fails me it's always so good and so I just whisk that by hand with my little mini whisk my favorite and then once the cake is nice and cool you can frost it so just put that on top with some lemon zest I did a little bit of poppy seeds just to make it look pretty and that's it I guarantee this will be a hit no matter who you make it for whether they're vegan or not they're gonna love it that is everything for me today. Make sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every week, sometimes multiple videos a week, and my husband Greg is now joining me in videos more often. So stay tuned because he will be coming back to the channel very soon. But that is everything for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing end to your June, and I will see you in the next one.